Hello Tegelar Squad, nama saya Jeffrey. Hari ini adalah episod 22 untuk Malaysian YouTuber Setup. Uh, bagi Tegelar Squad yang masih baru di sini, siri ini memaparkan setup yang digunakan oleh Malaysian YouTubers untuk hasilkan video mereka. Hari ini kita akan lihat setup seorang gaming YouTuber dan nama dia adalah Gamer Zack. And for your information, Gamer Zack buat video tentang strategy games such as Civilization 6, uh, Caesar 3 and etc. Uh, saya akan letak satu link di bawah ke channel Gamer Zack dan jangan lupa to check him out. Hey guys, Gamerzak here, and I'm your local Malaysian gaming YouTuber. And uh, I've been invited to uh, show off my desktop setup and my workstation to see, uh, well, to show off uh, to you guys how I actually do things. So let's get things started. First off, I do have my main monitor here, which is a Samsung monitor. I'm not particularly into brands or anything, but this is a monitor that I've had for quite some time. I do like it. Forgot the model. It's that, that asymmetrical thing over there. And also I have my second monitor over on this side, which is uh, a refurbished HP Compact monitor. Got it really cheap online. And uh, as you can see, I do do live streaming. And one of the most important things about live streaming are the lights. And as you can see over here, I've got this IKEA light. Um, not too sure what it is, but you can see it was uh, somewhat too orange for me. So I went ahead and put that blue strip over it, just some masking tape holding it on there. I'm very much a budget sort of person. And then over on this side, I have my second light. And this one was also a bit too orange, put a bit of blue onto it. And it was too bright. And the cheapest way to get a bright light to soften up a little bit is to put a tissue onto it. <laughs> Anyway, moving on a little bit lower, I have my Logitech C920 uh, webcam here, which is a, it's a good piece of hardware, but software-wise it does struggle because it is, uh, uh, well, it resets the settings every time I restart my computer. And my speakers are Altec Lansing. These I've had for a long, long time, probably over 10 years now I've had these speakers and they're, they're, they're working well. So I'm going ahead and keeping on using those. You can see my microphone over here, which is one of the most important parts of my setup. It's a blue snowball. And uh, blue is the brand, not the color, as you can see on the front there. It's a very good microphone. It, it's, it's probably the best microphone you can get if you're on a budget. It has monodirectional and uh, omnidirectional and stuff like that. Monodirectional is great because it just picks up from the front. Great for cutting out all that audio. Panning down here, I have this uh, Alienware keyboard. Not that I'm a fan of Alienware or anything. It's just something that I've had for a while and it, it works very nicely. I have my uh, cheap earphones over here. These are just like 10, 15 ringgit sort of thing got from the computer store. You can see my webcam stabilizing system, which is a pile of tissues to stabilize the webcam from any table shakes and stuff like that. And my mouse is something that I am a big fan of. It's a rocket cone mouse. It fits my hand perfectly, very nice. Every mouse is uh, for everyone individually. It's, it's different. And I've got a SteelSeries mouse pad. It does the job. Now, for some interesting things, you can see on the back that you've probably already noticed, it is uh, some acoustic foam, which is just propped up against the corner of the wall. I got that pretty cheap. I think it's 115 ringgit for a six and a half foot by three and a half foot piece of acoustic foam. And that's really, really good. A second one set up here on my left. It's uh... It's just held up by some masking tape. It's nothing fancy. I didn't exactly mount it. And I just got this piece of masking tape taping the middle to the wall, which is just a, well, it's an easy peasy way just to get it up there. It's not fancy looking. It doesn't look good, but uh, it, it works. It does the job. Now the chair I sit on is also nothing fancy whatsoever. This chair is like, it must be over 15 years old. It's just, I can sit in it, so that's fine. But back here behind me is the green screen, which I think is what most people would be interested in. This is a very cheap piece of green cloth. I just found the most vibrant green cloth I could get. This was five ringgit a meter, and you can see I bought too much of it. Um, you could get away with three meters, I think. And I just sort of clipped it to the wall using these little clips and a bit of tape. And it's actually, it's held up pretty well. Uh, it's not a fancy hundreds of thousands of ringgit sort of green screen, but it definitely does a job. A lot of people think green screens are expensive. It's not, again, this is five ringgit a meter with some clips and tape and it, it works perfectly. 
And if any of you are wondering what software I use, I do use Audacity for the most part for recording any vocals or stuff like that. Uh, Audacity is free, so it's great. And also I record and stream video using OBS, Open Broadcaster Studio. Um, it, it is uh, very, very nice. It, it's free as well. And uh, it's just something that, that really does get the job done. And with some of the more recent updates, it's actually very, very capable. So in case you're wondering, uh, the difference between XSplit and OBS. I would recommend going with OBS if you don't know the difference, just because OBS is free. So that's basically my entire setup. It's nothing fancy, really. I mean, some of this hardware might look a little bit fancy, but it's just stuff that's sort of collected. I mean, oh, well, I also have my printer over there. And you can see some of my other acoustic management, i.e. I put boxes around the walls just to reduce the echo because I couldn't afford buying so many pieces of foam and mounting them all over the place. So I guess you can see that one's not mounted at all. It's just sort of resting in the corner of the room. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically the setup. You could get away with a lot less than this, though. Um, uh, some of these are just more recent additions that I built up over the years. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed my setup and found it useful, and I will see you in the next video. It was a video on Harini. If you guys want to see your favorite YouTubers to be featured in this series, please leave their names at the comment box below, and I'll try to approach them. Like usual, thumbs up if you like it, sub if you are new here, and I shall talk to you guys in the next video. Ciao!